man, somebody had to do it. All right. Somebody had to do it on them. And if it wasn't going to be anyone else, I'm like, you know what? It's going to be me. So we're going to be taking a look at the iPhone SE versus the Galaxy Note 10. And now you can tell there's quite a bit of difference between them. But in terms of the heart of both of them, I think the iPhone SE wins there, dude, 100%. But obviously, if you had all the money to spend in the world, you should get the iPhone SE. It's a better phone. Just totally joking. Okay, the Note 10 is the better phone here. You know, it's obviously newer, more expensive, better parts, better everything. But I like the iPhone SE, and I'm not going to spend 30 minutes talking about them. I'm just going to do a quick speed comparison, talk about it. maybe the cameras here and there. But in every which way I looked at it, the Note 10 is the better device. I mean, looking at it and just kind of jumping them from my hands, I definitely do feel like the Note 10 is the better build. It's basically better in every sense of the way. The only thing I can think of that the iPhone SE wins in is the headphone jack. So that right there is probably enough for people to go switch from a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 to an iPhone SE. <laughs> On the front of the iPhone SE, we actually have a 4-inch IPS panel. It's 640p, if that's a correct way of saying it. Um, you have 326 pixels per inch, where on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, you have a dynamic AMOLED display, 6.3 inches. This one is 1080p, but the pixels per inch are, is, isn't really that much higher on here than it was on here. You have 401 pixels per inch here and 326 pixels per inch here. So obviously the Note 10's panel is better, but who knows, maybe the iPhone SE's panel is still kind of decent too, you know? In terms of software, this is a very rare thing, but the Android device here will actually outlast this specific iOS device. So this is still on iOS 13. I don't think it's going to get iOS 14. It could maybe, but the Note 10 is just getting started with updates. So it's going to continue on for a couple more years. So that pretty much covers that. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a speed comparison. Like I said, this is going to be a super quick video. I wasn't really planning on doing it, but let's go ahead and see which one is the faster device between the SE and the Note 10. If I had to say it, if I had to put money on it, the Note 10 is obviously going to win here, but let's go and find out. All right, let's go ahead and clear out all the apps in the background and let's close all these out. Dude, they just look so goofy right next to each other. <laughs> like the Note 10 is so massive and the SE is so small. Let's go ahead and do Facebook. Let's where is that at? Three, two, one. And the Note 10 actually beat that. I was honestly not expecting it. Usually on iOS devices, Facebook loads up faster. Twitter, three, two, one. The Note 10 is way faster. Again, um, it's going to be the way faster device. I don't even know if I should just, three, two, one. If I should just like even pause in between or just keep going. As you saw, the Note 10 was the faster device there. Instagram, three, two, one. I just want one app to be faster on the SE. Like if we can even get one app to be even somewhat faster, I would be like super energetic. Bofa, three, two, one. And again, the Note 10 is the faster one. This one's still taking its time, still going. I love the iPhone SE though. I've always loved it. Temple Run, three, two, one. Now I'll probably have to restart this one because I have to do it every single time. Anytime I do something with a phone, I always have to re Oh, we're good. Okay. So you can see, I mean, oh God, I knew I had to do something, but you saw, I mean, it didn't affect the loading time or anything. This one eventually got into it after. So, I mean, it took a minute. Definitely. It didn't, wasn't immediate, but you saw the iPhone SE eventually got into it. Let's do thank you. Three, two, one. And actually, I don't know. I mean, I'll let you guys decide, but that was pretty close, man. That wasn't like a all all just the Note 10. But again, this is like an extremely, extremely basic game. So there's nothing too crazy about it. Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. And you can see the Note 10 was the faster one here too. Let's go ahead and, oh man, I messed up, but whatever. Uh, gameplay, glitchy a little bit on the SE, but you know, for the most part, I was already expecting that. Nothing else too crazy though. I kind of already expected that type of thing. Paper out two, three, two, one. And dude, I cannot believe this. I told you guys I was gonna get energetic and I finally did. For some reason, I don't know what happened on the Note 10. Dude, I think my Note 10 just died. So my iPhone SE actually technically beat it. So you know what? Are we gonna give it that benefit of the doubt? This phone was charged. What the heck just happened? Did the, did the game die? Like what? But regardless, I'm going to give that to the iPhone SE 2. It deserved it. This one didn't glitch up, but this one did. So, hey, at least we got something. <laughs> Let's do Fruit Ninja 3, 2, 1. I do not know what happened with that game. That's really, really weird. The Note 10 eventually did get into it faster than the iPhone SE. And eventually the iPhone SE got into it. So, good news for there, I guess. So, that's still good news. Let's end it off with the Real Racing 3. 3, 2, 1. Hopefully I don't have to download anything, and I don't think I have to. And you can see the Note 10, we got into it faster than the iPhone SE. Don't know how much, fa uh, okay, we actually we got into it. So 
that I mean that pretty much covers up that speed comparison. You know, it kind of went the way I was expecting. Paper IO2, I don't understand what happened though. Yeah, it just seems like I don't know what happened to it. That was really, really weird. The cameras all just hit on them super quickly. The iPhone SE has a 12 megapixel sensor. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 has three cameras. You have two 12 megapixel sensors and a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor. And ultimately, you might have guessed it, the Note 10 will have the better camera overall. It's much sharper, you know, you have way more settings on it. The SE's camera is not bad at all though. Like I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. It does, you know, it does work, okay? And I think if you're, if you're in the right settings, if you have the, you know, if you're not expecting too much, you can definitely get some good, you know, shots out of it for sure. I've always found this camera to be exceptionally good, especially for the price. It does everything you need to on a basic level. I think the main problem with this camera is just Apple software. I just think it's super basic for, you know, what you're paying for and everything. I've always felt like Apple could do such a better job. You know, you have the basic settings right here. You can go to slow-mo and video right here, but compared to something even like a Samsung Galaxy Note or even like a Samsung Galaxy S6, man, even that camera had so many settings built into that software that even if the camera wasn't amazing the software was really really good so looking at the Note 10's camera though you can obviously tell it is a way 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 better sensor and not only that but you also have the ultra wide sensor so you can go a little bit more wide if you want to and get a little bit more or this one I think as you can see you can see my legs but you can get way more into a photo you can hit up this one to get normal but you can see you have somewhat of the same settings right here but you have way more settings down here even compared to something like an iphone 10s max you have more settings from a note 10 than an iphone 10s max which is really weird and if you click here you can actually get into more settings as you can see so and this is no bash to the iphone se obviously you know i'm not trying to say this phone is you know i'm not trying to rub it in or anything but I'm trying to showcase to Apple, you know, how much they need to improve on their software, not only for this phone, but like for like the iPhone XS and XS Max and the iPhone 11. Hopefully they can improve that software. That's what we really need. But ultimately, you might have already guessed it. The Note 10 does have the better camera sensor between these. You might have already known that though. And you might have already expected this, but the battery life will be better from the Galaxy Note 10 than on the iPhone SE. The iPhone SE's battery life isn't horrible, you know, but definitely it's degraded over time. You have a 1600 million power battery on here, a 3500 million power battery on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. And ultimately, like I stated, you will have better battery life from the Note 10. Even though it has a bigger screen, has a better processor, whatever, the bigger battery usually does mean that it has better battery life. That's not always the case, but most of the time that is. The, and when you have this big of a size difference, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty noticeable. I can't believe this is so random. <laughs> But that's really pretty much all I wanted to hit on. Like, obviously, get the Note 10 if you can afford it. If you can't, the iPhone SE is still a very good phone. But I don't think you're really looking for one or the other. I think you're just watching this because of no reason. <laughs> but if you can, I mean, if you don't want to get either of these, if you want to go the Android route, a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is still a very good deal. You can get some for, like, super, super cheap for, like, less than 400 So I'd really, really recommend that. I would recommend that over this standard Galaxy Note 10 if you want to go the iOS route. I would recommend even something like an iPhone 8 Plus if you want to go there. I just did a comparison between this one and this one actually. And I'll definitely tell you, I think the iPhone 8 Plus is a very good deal. You can probably find one for like 500 probably a little bit less. Also an iPhone 10, a used one, which I have right here. This is my main phone that I use every day. I have a battery case. That's a very good deal too. You can probably pick one up for less than 600, probably around that 550. So the choice is yours. But between these two, I will definitely say the Note 10 is the better phone overall. It definitely gets that title. But you know what? I want to say the iPhone SE kind of held its own too. You know, I don't want to say it just went out without a bang. It has the headphone jack, which like I said, a lot of people, that's really all they care about. So that's really where I'm going to end it off at. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.